So let's keep that applause going because we're going to have Saida Moraes joining us. Good morning. Hola, bon dia. Tudo bem? Good morning. Can you hear me? We can hear you loud and clear. Thank you so much for being here. Finally, finally. Uh, thank you. Sorry for all, all, the, um, all the problems you may have had in the uh, back office there. But this is perfect, Sada. You're here with us now, uh, live on the Good Morning Portugal show. And, and I've been wanting to talk to you for a very long time because you are a legendary real estate agent in Lisbon, right? Yes, of course. <laughs> I've, uh, I've been a real estate agent for uh, the last 18 years, uh, always representing Remax. Uh, in Portugal, um, so um, I mainly work. Um, uh, I work at the uh, office of Laranjeiras, where our friends that you know, Randy and Brenda. Yes. Uh, yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> I'm glad that they introduced me to you, and uh, so I have the opportunity to talk about my work and uh, uh, present myself to um, possible investors and or other people that look for real estate in portugal thank you for inviting me well igualmente Lo lovely to meet you too and want to find out more about you and what it takes to become a hall of fame no less uh, real estate. i mean and when i say you you are legendary in your industry aren't you and, and, and certainly um, a well-respected person within your yes yes remake. yes i am uh in the in the remax industry in the remax brand but also in a national reference uh, it's mainly about the, the, the way that I, uh, I do my work, the, the way I dedicate to my clients and also um, and they refer me uh, to others and also uh, my dynamic, the way I promote my brand and all of that. I think it has to be a joint of all these, uh, these, um, these things that makes a very good real estate agent. But my, my role as the the, the main role is real, the dedication and the way I um, dedicate and I, uh, serve, my, I serve my clients. That's the, the, the most important for me. Amazing. Yeah, that makes complete and utter sense. Um, it's, it's quite a simple formula in a way, isn't it? But not many people are capable of doing it um, in such a disciplined and excellent way as you, I suspect. Um, we'll find out more about uh, what to look for in a good real estate agent, because I think you're the perfect person to speak to about that. You know, there are a lot of people in our community who, who want to do exactly that and find somebody good to work with uh, in this country. And, and I'm surprised we haven't talked to many real estate agents. We talked to buyer's agents because buyer's agents seem quite well suited to people who don't live in the country and they represent people in a different sort of way. So it's great to be talking to you about uh, specifically being a real estate agent here in Portugal and working with Remax. How did you get into it, Saida? So uh, I got into it in a, a time of my life that I need to make a very big change and in that time i thought about what 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 am, am i going to do uh to have a, a, in the way of having a flexible um flexible agenda because i had two small kids at that time and i needed re i really needed something that i am a very ambitious ambitious uh, as wanting to um, make uh, i wanted to make a good life for my kids mm -hmm. and so i wanted to go to a business that i knew that um it would all only depend on me to make money. <laughs> and this is real estate. Real estate, it's about uh, you just can earn as much as you want, as, lo as long as you dedicate and you are ambitious to, to, you have your dreams to fulfill and you have your purpose in life. So that's, that's what uh, I think it's the main thing to uh, make a very good uh, real estate agent because if you don't have a dream, if you have a, if you don't have a goal, you know it's difficult. You have always to have a goal in this kind of uh, business, so you can every day get up motivated to do your best, to get as many clients as you get, as many listings as you you can. Uh, so we always depend on the listings, you know, because the listings brings the leads that will. Um, after help us close deals with those listings or others that uh, we may offer. So I think the main thing uh, I wanted at that time is get in a business that I would have time for my kids and I would also just grow as much as I wanted. So that, that's what happened. That's wonderful. And is that still the case, would you say, Saida, that if somebody in a similar situation to you with young children is looking for a, a, a new career, 
um, uh, with an unlimited potential. Uh, that, that's certainly the gist we get from talking to you, you know, and especially now in Portugal, uh, sky's the limit, isn't it, with, with earnings, with so many people interested in investing in Portugal. Is that still possible to, to enter into the industry in the way that you did? Is it, is it still the same sort of opportunity? It is as long as you um, as long as you have a strategy and as long as because it's not easy uh, by being a mother because at that time I was a single mother uh, I had or got I got a divorce uh, uh, before I, I decided to come to the real estate business so it, it depends on and on how you want to get in the business uh, your goals of course but that, that we are uh, we are um, going from that point that it's an ambitious person that wants to earn money and have success. So uh, I, uh, it's 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 not easy, you know. I had the great kids in the the most. I, I have a friend that I'd like to talk to you about her for a while. Please, She's yeah. From San Francisco, and she. Uh, I I have to tell you this story because it's so nice. And when I talk about her, my my heart just. It's all, all crushed, you know, because I miss her so much. And but as her, I've I've got very other good clients, and most of them uh, come from uh, other countries, mainly United States, Canada. It's because when someone gets in that country that they don't know no one, they don't uh, know anyone. Yeah. They they have they need support, you know. And I don't know if it's because I all I also um, I very young I went to United States to study. Uh, I finished my high school in United States. You did right. Uh, and I feel what is someone going to some place and have no uh, support or no don't know anything about the country or as they know it's what they read. But you know the the simple things that in each day you need and you have someone that can provide you that you know. So this yep. friend, she came, she retired. She's from San Francisco. Her name is Carol. At this time, she could attend us, but at this time, she's sleeping. Uh, and uh, she just called to my office and she said, I'm looking for an apartment to rent. And in that office, I was the only person that spoke English. So they called me to attend to, to attend her. And from that time, uh, I showed her two or four, four apartments. And she chose one. And from that day on, everything that she needed, I was there for her. I helped her furnish the apartment. I helped her do any, everything. And from that time, uh, we became friends. My friends were her friends. My family were her family. And up today, it's, this is 2007, I still see her. She's coming to Portugal now. And we have a very bad... She helped me babysit my kids, <laughs> and she, that's why I remembered her to, to tell you this story because she said, You have the best boys in Portugal because they were so good, <laughs> they were so nice, and they, they were very good kids. They helped me a lot because they would stay anywhere I would leave them. If I would leave them with a friend or any place or a kindergarten, they will stay. So, you have to, and also, I had to get a, a maid to take care of them in after mm -hmm. after school so that was yeah. a, my, my very big uh, investment but i think that anyone that has uh, that uh, it's very dynamic and ambitious they can do this 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 or and you you can believe that a lot of uh, most i can say i don't know the percentage of the real estate agents successful real estate agents in portugal are women and Is that's that right? something yes Okay, and is, is do you think it's because of that attention to detail and to taking care of people in this yes. way? Yes, yes, right. yes, yes. I think that's, that's the most. And we are uh, very, we go for it. You know, we we it, it, of course it has to be the kind of uh, your um, profile as your yeah. person, of course. But uh, every, I, I believe that all these women. They must be like me, <laughs> uh, like very uh, strengthful and want it, want to go for it. So that's very important. It's uh, when you want something very much, then nothing can stop you. Well, that is great advice and great insight, and and fascinating to find out that the, the successful Remax agents in Portugal are women. Um, and this must be your secret, or not very secret formula now. Um, you know, because. What, uh, being a friend to people basically rather than just doing the deal and selling them the place or renting them the place um becoming a friend of people as you as you describe with your friend from san francisco there the the person who set your 
formula, I guess, from the from the beginning. And uh, T Duck saying here, so has been a huge help to us and a great friend. So that's how it uh, tends to roll with you, I suspect, Cider. Um, bought our place, says by Andy. He's up in the Barada district uh, through Remax over 20 years ago. They were great back then. Uh, there were hardly any modern estate agents, mainly just word of mouth or newspapers in our area. So this is a good opportunity for us to talk about the company now, isn't it? It has changed, I think, a lot in the last 20 years. And you've been there uh, for most yeah. of that to use. Tell us about Remax, because a lot of us, you know, people who've, who are watching this show, and, and most people tend to watch later on, on on the replay, and they're looking at moving to Portugal, and they see Remax as a brand, and they understand it's a real estate agency here in Portugal, but they probably don't know a lot about the backstory. So can you fill that in for us? Yes, I can. So Remax is in Portugal for the over uh, 23 years. When I, it's since 2000, uh, 2000, the year of 2000, I joined in 2005. So yeah, and, and at that at that time when I joined Remax, I I was um, my main uh, reference uh, as a real estate company was Century 21 because I was uh, in the north of the United States. I uh, and that was the the um, the company that I always saw the signs and that was my very big uh, reference. Mm -hmm. But when I when I decide to to join real estate, I start uh, checking the market. What were the brands, uh, the strongest brands, and uh, I uh, knew about Remax, and I didn't have a doubt uh, first because it had already five years of the, in the market. Uh, yeah. I didn't know anything about real estate, so I needed to learn. I needed a, uh, a brand that could uh, give me all the the. the the how you say the not the formations i don't know now the, the right word but the, all templates, the, the templates and, and the way of the know-how the know-how yeah. okay, okay. The know -how the business. as you know remax it's a company that has over 50 years in the united states um uh, and uh so we when we joined remax we got all the 25 years 22 years of uh of being in the market, so it's it was a very strong rent. So that was my main uh, decision. The, my decision of going to Remax was mainly because uh, of a company that was already in the market. So now, at that time, we were about uh, probably I don't know less than one thousand agents in that time over wow. a something uh, 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 shop uh, offices, and that this moment I just um, make. Um, I make uh, just uh, a call to our CEO and I asked him and we are over 140 uh, offices and 10,000 agents. So that way you can see how in 23 years the brand has grown. Um, so it's a, it's a brand that um, first, I, I don't know if you know, but our master, a master uh, are Spanish, uh, Manuel and Beatriz, they are Spanish. Spanish couple that were in Portugal working for uh, in other uh, area of uh, business and they decide they had a dream <laughs> and they decide to buy the, the franchise for uh, for Portugal. And wow. uh, so and now they are owners of uh, Germany, uh, France and also they have some some uh, regions of Brazil. Very, very visionary mm. uh, and they are, I think what makes a difference really uh, in this company it's our masters the way they see the business the way they they uh, communicate and they uh, they um, they are with uh, the agents we are we have frequently conventions and they're very close and they're always looking for a way to make the difference we are always a step ahead of everybody else and then all the people they just copy and we are again in the front so I think it has to do about the masters, but uh, Remax in this moment. So that's that's what I wanted to say. It's a, it's a, a company that has offices all over the country. Uh, we work in. A, we don't have. I don't know. The most of the the people that must be watching us, they are uh, Americans or even Canadians, and uh, in in United States or Canada, you have a system that uh, it's. Um, Oh, uh, the way that uh, all the companies connect. Uh, MLS. 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 Yes. yes. We don't. Ha we have our own MLS in Remax, but okay. not not uh, with other companies. Okay, because uh, in, unfortunately, the the real estate um, agents 
they are not profit. Uh, um, we don't have uh, how you say um, uh, cre uh, creditation. Okay. okay. Yeah. Uh, most of the the agents that you see from these small agencies, they don't have accreditation. Okay. In Remax, we do have because of the our university. We have a plan um, of um, oh, I forget the word. How do you say <laughs> accreditation or validation of your? No, no, not validation, but we have courses we have to take as you get oh, a, in. Curric a curriculum, perhaps. A curriculum. Okay. Yeah. So okay. we have to, to have this uh, curriculum achieved by some time. When you come right. in, you have a plan, okay? So right. we know what we're doing. That's what make that's what makes a very big difference. We know what we're doing. And some people sometimes they say, I see such a difference when I get to a Remax agent and I get to this single agents from this small office, the way that right. we the, 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 the things that we our know how. Because our know-how is uh, uh, general. We know about the, everything you can Im imagine, from the financial, uh, the bank loan, the mortgages, about the laws, everything we know, because we have a structure that provides and give us this, um, this information and, and a plan of um, academic plan in Remax. So yeah, that uh, that's, that's what may, I think it makes a very big difference in the agents from the other uh, companies. And that's what it's good about uh, our masters at uh, Remax in Portugal. It's they make sure that the agents that are in the market they are because we have a very strict uh, pr uh, procedures. We have a manual of procedures that we have to uh, we have to look at, and it's very well organized. So I think it's it's a company that. Um, it's always gives trust to, to people and we are chosen every year as a super brand, as the best company to work with, as the best company that agents wants to work with. So, and uh, we are the leader market, market brand. So that, that also says everything. And, that's really uh, helpful. That's really helpful. Okay. So, and I'm seeing a wonderful kind of formula here, you know, from, from you personally having a goal, and having a, a, a very specific work ethic of supporting people, then great leadership uh, from 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 the top, people leading from from the front and from the top um, with, with with Remax as well. What were the names of those wonderful people you mentioned? It's Beatriz Rubio. Is yeah. there a chat I can write? Yeah, you can. You can do okay. it in the um, in the private you chat. Can about them, okay? But I love hearing about these sort of visionaries and leaders. Oh, They're very important yeah. people, aren't they, in the world? Um, and, and yeah, so I'm loving that formula and, and the leadership. I wonder if we could uh, um, focus a little bit on your, your area of specialism, as in geographical area, because you said yeah. Laranjeiros and also around Benfica. Which no, people... I work district Lisbon. And just an oh, insight here, just an insight that I wanted to tell you, it's that we yeah. don't have the MLES, okay? Yeah. Uh, uh, but uh, we, that's important to, to say because uh, some people may eventually. Um, contact me or something. We don't have the MLS, but we share with uh, we can share all the products that are in the market. Imagine a client tell me, "Look, I'm looking for something. I don't find it in Remax. I can always uh, look for other companies and share with these companies." Okay. The yeah. only difference is that I don't know all the information about the property, as you can see in MLS. Okay. But I ask for my colleague from other agency or uh, company to give me all the information I need to provide to my client. But we work like that. We share all the properties that are in the market can be shared by every every agencies and every all agencies that want to my product also my listings I share with them. So that's important to know that even we don't have the MLS we 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 do share between the companies. So we never leave the client without a solution. Okay, so even though you have a geographical speciality, you are yes. connected. You're connected to all property. Yes. Probably not just in Portugal, but the Remax goes around the world as well. So you could... yes, yes, it's internationally. So oh. on my 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 area, I work uh, Lisbon district. I am specialist in Laranjeiras, uh, in uh, it's a, a, a area near in São Domingos de Benfica, near the Benfica Stadium. That is the the 
So uh, near Lodge do Cidadão, from a uh, the know the area. So I'm specially in this area because uh, specialist in this area because I'm working over 18 years this area. I right. live in the area and I'm a very popular person in the area <laughs> because of the work I do in the in the in the area. I have a lot of li uh, listings, a lot of uh, signs. I have movies. I have I uh, I have. Um, I'm uh, the the um, the main um, patrocinador. I now I I lost the word. I'm the main um, sponsor of the football soccer team in the area. Wow! Yeah, and I I'm very involved in the community, and I do a lot of uh, campaigns in the, with for the community. So I'm very um, very um, known in the area, and I love to be known and also to provide all, all I do to my uh, my uh, neighbors in the area. So this is a we call it like a neighborhood, a Bible. And I have a uh, I will call it right so you know I have a slogan that I use here and all the time uh, for this area. But uh, because I work uh, under um, under uh, yeah. The, the neighbor of my heart. This is my slogan. <laughs> Beautiful. I love that. Okay, that's going in the chat right now. Well, and, and I've, um, I, I, I was introduced to your area fairly recently. Uh, I went to the Colombo Shopping Mall, which uh, I guess is in the heart of uh, your area as well, isn't it? Yeah, yes, yes, yes. The, because the, 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 the neighborhood or the area of San Domingo Benfica goes really up to the, to the stadium of, uh, of Benfica, that it's the other side, you have the Colombo. Right. So, uh, but as I told you, I work all, all over uh, Portugal uh, because, uh, because I, I, have, uh, I, I work this area. I have a lot of clients that have products in other places of the, 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 the country. And sometimes I have listings over uh, other regions, as uh, sometimes I have listings in the Algarve or in the north or in the west. Uh, so I have listings as long as it's, they ask me to do it uh, because they're people from my neighbor, I do it, okay? And yeah. that's working with buyers. I also go uh, everywhere, everywhere the buyer wants to, to uh, after doing a very good selection, I go with them over the country. Like in, in, I just sold the property to a to a, um, a couple from Texas uh, in uh, in Portimão. I was there last week with them to do the deed. So as long as uh, as long as I know that the person wants me to serve her uh, them, I mean I'm there for them right. anywhere in the country. <laughs> I'm going to ask you what your favorite place is outside of Lisbon um, before we finish today. But I need to find out from you what you think is going on and how you see the next five years. So in the, in the 18 years of, of serving people in the Lisbon area and growing this incredible um, community and, and being part of the community, Barro de Mel, uh, of your heart there, um, Saida, um, when did things start to really change in the 18 years? You know, this current interest and boom, you might say, in Lisbon. When did you notice something really changing? So when I got in in 2005, after two years and a half, we, uh, we got the very, very world crisis that, uh, the, you know, the financial yeah. crisis. Yeah. That's in the United States. <laughs> yeah. So that was the very, very uh, big uh, uh big um, uh, obstacle that I got uh, in, in when I got in. But what we see is that in every crisis, there is an opportunity. Yeah. Because in our business, uh, if uh, this moment we are realizing that, that, okay, we are in the moment in the market, it's not the same crisis, it's the interest that just go up, the inflation, every, everything. And some people, they cannot afford their loans, their mortgages. So they are selling their property to make downsizing of costs. So we, in our market, there's always an opportunity uh, to make money, to make business. Because when people, it's what I say, when we have a divorce, we need to buy a house. Normally with the divorce, we got one selling and two buyings or rentals. That's <laughs> yeah, that's true. true. Yeah. Uh, we have the heritage because frequently uh, we, I got a lot, I get a lot of process of heritage. Mm -hmm. We have the people, the newborns that are coming, the couples near more, more 
so that those are things that nobody can avoid you know nobody right. can. Absolutely. okay leaving birth we can avoid <laughs> <laughs> But sometimes it happens. Well, sometimes it happens, absolutely. Sometimes. Yes. Yes. But uh, so uh, it's we have always an opportunity. What makes the very big difference is when the prices are higher, our commissions are higher because it's yes. a percentage. Yeah. When we have when the market is down, of course the commissions it's lower, but we always make business. And when it's lower, we don't get it. In the percentage we get it in the quantity um, of business we make because mm -hmm. people cannot afford and we are seeing this now but in lisbon the market as you were asking me the market is very it's 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 very confused because in the first three months of the year um we i noticed in my business i noticed in my business a, a slowdown okay because uh, the interest start to uh, to to raise in the last year, mm -hmm. but it, it didn't get uh, very so high as um, it, it got. But it, it was a perspective. It's uh, that it continue uh, rising, and also just to make clear uh, insight. Also with the war, the Ukrainian uh, in uh, in February when it started, we always thought now everything is going down. But what happened is that we got a mess of Ukrainians coming in and Russians, and the market, the, the rental market just rose yeah. incredibly. Yeah. So yeah. now we have the the rentals are prices, and I do a lot of rentals. Okay, a lot. I have a, a portfolio, a big portfolio of uh, investors that buy and they give me the properties to rent. Right. So I've never, never seen the market, the price is so high as I see now in the 18 years. We can rent for any amount, any place, where, whenever it is, wherever it is, the most, the, 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 the place that you would imagine, I wouldn't live there, you know? Yeah. You can rent it and it's some, sometimes at the price you want. So this is how the market, so because the mortgages, the, 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 the interests are so high, people cannot afford to buy, they are renting. So the prices are very high. But at the other, at the other time, we have the new build, new uh, buildings mm -hmm. with prices as incredible and they are selling. That is the one. And why they are selling? They are selling to uh, uh, foreigners that are coming to invest. We have other, um, other countries that are uh, investing um, uh, uh, strongly in Portugal and so the market it's very strange I think for the national in the range of let's suppose from 200 to 400 probably it's it's complicated but over 500 it's just just we don't know it's very very different we don't know on the selling okay but you cannot find good properties at good prices in this moment in the in downtown Lisbon uh, but of course, uh, the foreigners when they come, they um, they um, how you say they pocket. Or I don't find the right word, but they have more uh, possibility than the foreigners, so they can invest more. The nationals, so they can invest more money. So this is what we're seeing, isn't it? And, and this is a real effect. It's it's um, a discernible uh, phenomenon that's going on in Lisbon. How do you see it going for the next, let's say, five years? So I believe that um, that uh, if Portugal continues to invest in the tourism and promote the country, we will still we will have um, a lot of foreigners that because people uh, Portugal are is still being discovered. I think the Americans discovered Portugal too late. I remember when I was I was in uh, in uh, in the United States studying. And most of people didn't know about Portugal, even Cape Verde, because I'm not Portuguese, I'm Cape Verdean. Mm -hmm. uh, but Cape Verde, Cape Verde is an ex-Portuguese colony in the coast of Africa. And so when I talk about Cape Verde, Portugal, it was very like, where is this? <laughs> so I think that still a lot of, um, I think now in this moment, everybody knows, uh, knows Portugal. As, right. as uh, for uh, we had the, uh, some references as Cristiano Ronaldo, <laughs> I think it was a very good, big reference of people getting to know where Portugal is. So, but I think the market, um, it's it's quite because what I think 
in my opinion, it's that the prices of the interest they have to they cannot still going go up. Uh, they will yeah. something will revert even in the we call it the 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 the, the, the how to say it the the <laughs> trying to find the word yes the uh, the what is it in Portuguese spread, the spread the spread we oh, call the spread the spread. Yeah. Might come down, or people might have to change bank, or they will probably increase the time of the the loan because they have lowered it uh, in, the, in the past years. So something will happen to try to balance the market. But I I think we we will still growing, and the prices from if you know we have a slogan in Remax that says the best uh, time to buy a home. It's in the last five years because yeah. what we have seen is that you buy now in the next five years, so it can uh, uh, have a lower. But you know we have cycles, you know, yes. and I believe that in Lisbon the the prices will not just go down as it came on the crisis, and it will still uh, going high. It will still uh, high uh, go high. So it's always a good investment in, to buy in, in Lisbon. Uh, also, there are other places in the country, as you know. I don't. I think you are from. You are in the in the San Martín de Porto is where I'm living. San Martín, yes. yes. So West Coast has grown. Oh I yeah. Property in Lorinha, you can imagine. I sold it in one day. Yep. One day, and I had about ten visits, and most more than half of the visits, I think. I would say 80% were foreigners mm -hmm. uh, from Germany, from uh, the, the Nordics. Um, so I think still have other uh, areas of the regions of the, the country that will develop more as the West is developing very. Absolutely right. Yeah. Thank so. you, Sadia, for, for your insight. And I don't want to keep, I mean, we're five minutes past 10 and I'm sure you've got lots of people to meet. And, 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 yeah, and okay. <laughs> My last question was was about where your favorite, you personally, your other favorite part of Portugal outside of Lisbon. Where do you go to relax or to see another aspect of Portugal? Yeah, I have two places right. two, uh, outside of the region. So I have uh, Alvor, you know yeah, Alvor? I do I in the Algarve, yeah. You haven't been? I haven't been. I know, well, I've been, I've, been, I've driven through. I've not really enjoyed it, but I know what you mean. And I, I know other people who are delighted by, by Alvor, absolutely. So I, I, I have a place in Alvor. So uh, I love it because it is, it's, a, it's a place that you can do everything in a walking distance, having very good restaurants, very good uh, um, uh, environment. The, yeah. the, so it's a very easy place to, to get a vacation and in, in walking distance you can do everything. And then I have another place in my uh, of my heart that it's called Vinhais. Vinhais, I will write here. Yes. The only yes. thing about this place is that the the communications, the transportation is not very good, but it belongs to the district of Regaza. Okay. And I have a place there. It's about is this, five where, is, this, is this where the kangaroo was spotted last weekend? No. Oh, oh. I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> so Vinyais in Braganza I have heard, again I've not been there but I have heard of uh, Vinyais uh, but we don't want to tell too many people about it do we? Yeah, Braganza it's easy to come because you, you have uh, you, you have uh, buses there it's a very nice place to, to meet in Braganza uh, uh, and then it's the Vinyais it's about 30 kilometers, it's a very small village, very nice, very well organized and it's very known for two things for their, uh, their specialists in the sausage, we call it alliated. I will write it uh, here. Yes, I know what the, the chicken sausage. Yeah, absolutely. It's an amazing, yes. sto amazing yeah. story behind that. Yeah. And they also for the chestnuts. Okay, that's they a good combination. Two, yeah, they have two fairs in the year that are very famous. It's a chestnut fair. Yeah. You can, then you can even uh, look at uh, uh, make a search. And the sauce that the uh, alheiras, uh, it's they call it the Feira do Fumairo. I will write it because I don't know. That the is fumairo. wonderful. Thank you. And this is the um, so the alheiras e castanhas. Uh, are the yes, alheiras? yes. Oh, okay, that's this Feira do Fumairo, it's the this capital, Vinhais is the capital of the of the Fumairo fear. 
So the sausage is in there. Okay, that's going into the chat as well now. So thank you, sir. I hope you'll come back. It's been an absolute pleasure talking to you this morning to find out more about you, to find out yes. more about Remax, and to find out what you think about what's going on um, in Portugal at the moment. So, muito prazer, muito obrigado. Bye bye. Thanks for inviting me. And have a great day, Saida. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank thank you. Thank you. Just take a picture, just a moment. <laughs> of course, I, I'll do a screenshot as well so that okay. we can, um, we can send we can send this to you. Okay, thank you very much for inviting. Okay.